We're the co-founders of Solo Cell Games and the creators of Smoke and Sacrifice. You play as Sachi, she's a mother and she's a farmer. She's a member of this seemingly idyllic rural farming community surrounded by frozen wasteland. And they are dependent on this incongruous steampunk-like technology. The firstborn child of every family is in fact sacrificed to the sun tree in order for the village to stay alive, basically. And part of the journey you go on in the game is to uncover the mystery of what actually happens to these children. What's happening is, is world-changing and, and hugely important, but it's told in such a sort of intimate, small-scale way because you're just following this one character through and it's very much her journey. Each creature in the game lives in a balance with those that live around it. They eat each other, they consume plants and animals, they uh, pollinate. Make babies. Make babies. Is that how you meant to say? They do make babies. They reproduce. Very <laughs> mechanical. So it's not just random numbers, it's, it's a real sense of the world changing and the story being unfurled as you progress through it. The smoke is based on a fluid simulation which gives it a wonderfully gloopy feel. It changes the behaviour of creatures in the world and it can also change the resources that you can get from them. They have to find ways to constantly protect themselves from it. I wanted a kind of rich, hand-illustrated look to the game. It's kind of sinister, but believable. It's, it's, it has a kind of texture to it. It helps to immerse people in, in that world, in that universe that we wanted to create. We're excited to show you all the things that you can do in the game, which we've not been able to show you yet. You can use elemental swords to set creatures on fire, freeze them to make them easier to kill. You can tame creatures by feeding them their favorite food, which causes them to fight on your side. So it's a survival RPG, but it's not a base building game, and it's not a game where you feel vulnerable and weak the entire time. The action side of the game gets really intense and becomes a really important part of the experience, actually. It's really exciting now that the, the release date is known and um, the game is going to be put into the hands of uh, real people, so to speak, not just uh, us and our friends and family. There's so much depth to all the interactions and, and to the world and the writing is amazing and the music, the music just definitely makes the, the emotional moments that it should do. And I'm still having just so much fun playing the game, so um, yeah, I'm excited for it to get out into the world. There is so much, especially in the last few weeks, that's changed that I have no idea about. So I'm really excited to, to get it on day one and actually play through it with the music, with all the finished artwork, with the story all together.